More than half of Tibet's political prisoners are monks and nuns, some with sentences as long as 18 years. Anicho and Kunsong spent four years in Drapji prison for demonstrating in Lhasa's main bazaar in 1995. She shouted for religious freedom, human rights, and independence. She was charged with endangering state security. When Ani Choying expressed her religious or political beliefs in prison, she was stripped naked, beaten by groups of male guards, and shocked with an electric cattle prod. They'd use electric batons on our mouths, on our heads, and on the palms of our hands, and beat us with long black rubber pipes. They hit me many times. I had gashes on my head and my nose bled. I received many punishments like these. According to the U.S. State Department's annual human rights report, the torture and abuse of detained monks and nuns occurs routinely in Tibet. In addition to severe beatings, common forms of torture include exposure to extreme heat and cold, hanging by extremities, deprivation of sleep, and electric shock to the genitals. Even if we are killed after shouting a few words, I still think that it's worth it. If we remain silent, didn't protest in any way, and only listened to the Chinese, then what little religion we can practice in Tibet would disappear altogether. <laughs> 